Police chiefs call it a game changer for cutting down on a backlog of cases. New at 6, Laura Thomas shows us how a new crime lab for Western North Carolina is going to make you safer. From DWIs to sexual assaults and homicides, officers tell us right now in Western North Carolina, testing for those kinds of cases can be stuck in a backlog for years. But we have cases that are uh, over three years old in the lab. It's why they say breaking ground on the new Western Regional Crime Laboratory is so important. The facility in Edneyville will be twice as large as the current one in Asheville and be able to handle more kinds of testing like firearms and DNA that right now are only done at a lab in Raleigh. DNA helps us to uh, exonerate the innocent and convict the guilty. Attorney General Roy Cooper tells us DWI cases often require complex blood tests to determine what kinds of prescription drugs are in someone's system. Drug crime impaired is the most frequently committed violent crime in our country. Ellen Pitt with Mothers Against Drunk Driving says the longer a case is in limbo, the longer the victim's families are left waiting for answers. When you can't get your evidence, you can't prosecute the case, and so there's justice for nobody. Being able to analyze that evidence close to home will speed up that process for every law enforcement agency across the area. There's no question that Western North Carolina will be safer because of this new crime lab addition. In Henderson County, Laura Thomas, 7 on your side. The Attorney General also tells us having a crime lab in the western part of the state will help when it comes to time in court. Scientists have to drive from Raleigh to testify on all the cases. Having a base in Henderson County allows them to spend less time on the road and more time working on cases. The Western Regional Crime Lab in Edneyville is expected to open in 2017.